you want to start learning the blues, which is really the best place to start learning improvising and understanding the whole process of that, doesn't matter what style you go into, then you need to understand and really explore the great players that shape this whole style for us, the saxophone players. And one of my favorite guys is Lee Allen. <laughs> So in the video today, I'm actually going to give you a peek at part of my Blues Mastery course. It's all about Lee Allen, and it tells you who he was and why he was important and why, as sax players, we all need to really check this guy out. G'day guys, Nigel Lee from Sax School. Hey, this is a really important topic. I really love digging into classic recordings and great players because that's how we learn about the whole craft of being a saxophone player. And it doesn't matter what style of playing that you want to get into, you need to go and find those iconic people and check them out. It's part of our duty as saxophone players. Oh hey, if you're brand new here, make sure you click subscribe and hit that bell icon too so you get notified of the new videos. I'm making them all the time for you and I really don't want you to miss out. Right, let's get back to the video. So Lee Allen is a really important guy. I love his style and I think actually he is sort of, he was an important guy in the 50s and that style of playing that he had in that early 1950s, that bridge between blues and jazz and rock and roll is a great launch pad for us when we're starting to learn improvising because it's so simple but so effective. Now what I'm going to show you is actually from inside the Blues Mastery members area and it's one of the lessons that you get as part of Blues Mastery. And Blues Mastery is a really cool course. It's an in-depth, serious course if you really want to move ahead with the improvising because I walk you through the whole process of building a solid framework for understanding improvising and that means then you can really confidently improvise in any setting. Look, if you want to find out more about it, I've actually got some free training below. There's a quick start guide and the quick start course, which is absolutely free and there's a link below if you want to check that out, if that sounds like your cup of tea. Okay, so let's get started with this training. So Lee Allen, who is he and why is he important? Now Lee Allen was a tenor player and uh, he was really active around New Orleans in the 1950s and he was a really important guy in that time because he was part of a, a team of guys that were recording in the studio for a lot of new up and coming rock and roll artists um, and so he helped to sort of formulate the sound for that rock and roll saxophone style and guys you might have heard him or you'll hear him playing with guys like Little Richard and he did loads of touring around with and recording with Fats Domino as well. Um, so he's a really important guy and it's funny how one person and their style can lead to a, a change in um, saxophone playing. So he was kind of like the guy that led um, the blues rock and roll style of saxophone playing in a new direction. So the reason I love Lee Allen's playing is because he's got this huge gritty sound. It's, it's really big fat sound and there's a load of things about his sound that you know you can identify him by. Also when he's improvising he uses very simple rhythmical ideas. So he's got a really rhythmical approach to improvising. It's all about the beat and it's about um, keeping his ideas very simple and having lots and lots of space. Uh, which is a really cool thing to be learning when you're a, a new player or you know just getting used to the whole idea of improvising in this blues style because actually it's quite an, an easy way, an easy approach to improvising. The reason it worked for Lee Allen is because it's simple and effective and you know this sort of music is all about the beat and um, being really clear with your ideas and being really rhythmical about it. So that was a, a great thing about Lee Allen's style. Now it's always interesting to have a listen to uh, players and then check out who their influences are and where they came from as players because that can help to give you an idea about their style and how they um, arrived at the point where they've got their own style. So for Lee Allen, not surprisingly I suppose, his influences were guys like Coleman Hawkins, Ben Webster, Illinois Jaquette. These were guys of course that were if you know were famous players of that time. So if you were in your 20s in 1950, the guys that you would have grown up listening to were these guys because these were the legendary sax players of the day. But something else that's really interesting about all three of those players is that they're all very musical players. They're very melodic players. They're not overly complicated, but they're guys that uh, when they when they improvise, I mean, they're amazing musicians, don't get me wrong, but the, the thing that's wonderful about their playing, Coleman Hawkins, Ben Webster and Illinois, is all about um, being very clear with their musical and their rhythmical ideas. And it's really it's about the melody. 
Now, if you're checking out Lee Allen um, recordings, I think one of the great ones to, to have a look at is Walking with Mr. Lee. You'll find this album on Spotify. You'll find it on iTunes as well. There's also a bunch of stuff on YouTube about it. But Walking with Mr. Lee is uh, is a great recording. The thing is, a lot of um, albums that uh, the albums that Lee Allen produced as a solo artist were on quite a small label, which is now finished. So it can be difficult to get hold of these recordings. But off that album, there's three tracks that I think are great. There's, there's a bunch of great tracks on there, but the three of my favorites are Walking With Mr. Lee, the title track, also Lee's Blues and Big Horn Special. So if you've not done so yet, I definitely suggest going and checking out my Spotify playlist. And there's a link um, below this lesson where you can actually go and check that out. And in there, there's those three tracks. There's some other tracks um, from Lee Allen. And there's also a bunch of tracks from other artists in this style that we'll talk about in uh, the Blues Mastery course. So have a listen to those tracks and check out what I was saying about his big sound. Check out about the way that he uh, he approaches his playing in, in, in every aspect of it as well. Like the, you know, the way he's attacking his notes and the way he's blowing through his phrases and the fact that he's leaving a lot of space between his melodies as well that's all very very important um, and uh, you know they'll start, you'll start to get a picture in your mind of, of that style of playing radio so here's a style cheat cheat sheet um, these are some pointers to think about when you're trying to imitate Lee Allen's style so the first thing when you're improvising and trying to create recreate this Lee Allen style think about using simple rhythmical ideas very very simple Listen to those recordings. Listen to the way he's blowing on Walking with Mr. Lee. It's amazing. Some of those ideas are very simple, only um, you know, using simple crotchets and quaver type rhythms. And uh, he's getting the message across though because it's working, it's accurate. So simple rhythmical ideas, plenty of space in your solos. Don't be afraid to take a break. I read a great um, a comment about Lee Allen's playing and it was saying that he left spaces because it showed that he knew what he was doing and it was like a confidence thing in a way. It showed everybody else that, you know, this is where it is. I don't need to play any more than this because I know what I'm saying is enough to get my message across. So it's a great thing to try to do is to use a lot of space in your solos. Also, think about repetitive melody ideas. So simple mel melody ideas that you can repeat over and over or develop throughout your solo. And you'll hear Lee Allen do this quite a lot. And think about your gritty growly sound that he's using see if you can recreate that uh, one other thing that goes with this is he uses big dirty note bends so um, you really need to listen to the recordings to get an idea of this but try and emulate that see if you can get those long ups uh, bends up to notes and the long fall offs as well um, it's very specific to that style but it's definitely something to check out so that's Lee Allen. Um, I definitely suggest now going and listening to those recordings and listen to them over and over and over and really get inside them. Check out all the details, like I was saying earlier. Check out all the details about his playing, the way he starts and ends his notes, his breathing, his tonguing, his um, uh, growling, um, everything about the way he's playing and even the rhythm. And see if you can emulate some of those things in your own playing and uh, capture some of that Lee Allen magic. Hey, thanks for hanging out to the end of this video. I, I hope that helped you. You know, Lee Allen is a guy you really need to check out. So go explore him on Spotify or on YouTube or uh, I, Apple Music or whatever you use. And if you want to find out more about Lee Allen and really dig into his style, then grab that free training below because it'll get you started with improvising. It's my, like my quick start improvising class. It's just a short class, but I think it'll help you with the process. And also I'll tell you a little bit, bit about Blues Mastery. Uh, which in the full program of Blues Mastery, I really pull apart Lee Allen's style and four other players as well. And we really dig into learning how to apply those skills into our own playing. And, you know, that's part of the process of developing rock solid improvising skills, plus getting a good framework of how to improvise. So that link is below. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you've not before, if you're new here, because I'm putting videos out like this all the time to help you really improve your skills. So I don't want you to miss out on any of them. So hit subscribe, hit that bell icon too, so you get notified. Keep practicing hard, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>